here it is, Kristen Armstrong, possibly one of the big favourites for today. She looks quite relaxed. Here she goes then, uh, Kristen Armstrong. She's kind of smiling. She goes down the start ramp. What sort of time is she going to produce on this course? It's fantastic to see her here in her home uh, championships. She looks really, really focused, and she will get herself into the aero tuck. I've seen her on a couple of occasions in the hotel. She'll just get safely through this first right-hander, and then she'll get underway. As we go back to the start now of Linda Willemsen, you'll notice she's got one of these uh, air technology things up her nose to help her breathe a little bit better. She's leaving, nothing to chance. Well, she's certainly a rider that will leave no stone unturned today because uh, she goes 100% for these one-day races at the World Championships. Uh, like we said, five times on the podium until last year, five years in a row. So she'll, um, she was the Commonwealth Games champion in Scotland and uh, that was a big achievement for her, but she would have given every single little thing. I know she's very particular about her equipment, her position, her training, very scientific approach. On the start line here with Katrin Garfoot. She was a bronze medalist at the Commonwealth Games last year. So that was a huge result for her being relatively new to the sport and uh, to the European uh, circuit. Katrin Garfoot underway then. This is the, not the revelation of 2015, because she was up and coming anyway, but she won La Corse, she's won the Giro d'Italia, she won the Flesch Vallon. Anna van der Breggen of the Netherlands goes sprinting down the start ramp. She looks focused and means business today, Anthony. Like I said, if there's any World Championship course that could suit her, it's this one here today. It's got a little bit of everything. It's got the wind. It's got those sharp, short, punchy climbs. She's a classics rider. I think she's going to really, really enjoy this course. Here is Lisa Brenauer, the defending champion. That's a race face if ever you saw one. Even although you can only see the nose and the mouth, you can tell the concentration. Well, she should definitely be today's favourite. Uh, if you look at the results that she's had since she won the World Championship last year, this year she's won three grand tours, um, big, biggest tours of women's cycling. And why? Because she won the time trials in those events. So she won in the time trial at Energy Walk Tour, she won in Turing, and she also won in Bowles Dolmans, the individual time trials, which led her to win those uh, tours. So this year she's had really a, a phenomenal season in terms of results, but also individual time trialing. She's not actually been beaten in one of these big time trials this year by any rider. Here we see Kristen Armstrong just pulling that rider in now. So the rule is when you come within 10 metres of this rider, you need to move uh, one or two metres to the right or left not to get into that slipstream. So as soon as she comes into that 10 metre distance within that rider, she needs to move to the side so she's not using that slipstream. Well, there goes Kristen Armstrong. She's caught the rider in front for one and a half minutes as we go up Governor Street. Here is the arrival now of Linda Willemsen at the end of this uh, first lap. This is very impressive indeed from her. Look at this, Willemsen's time as she heads now towards the conclusion of this uh, first lap. Linda Willemsen is absolutely motoring. The time of Kirst Kristen Armstrong, 20, 25, 6, 9, and Linda Willemsen is going to smash that out of the ballpark. 20 minutes, 14.94, uh, and Willemsen is a rider with total focus right now. Here is a defending champion, Brenauer, who to me looks, you can never tell with Brenauer. Sometimes she looks she's a bit like Tony Martin. She looks like she is going really steadily and she is absolutely ripping along the road. But to me, she looks a little bit under pressure right now. Those shoulders are always hunched, but she looks like she is under pressure. Willemsen is 27 seconds faster than Brenauer on the GPS comparison. Van der Breggen right now is chasing the time of Evelyn Stevens and of Linda Willemsen. This rider, winner of the Giro d'Italia, winner of Flesh Vallon, winner of La Course, second in the World Cup this season. Van der Breggen is going to be really, really close to the time of Linda Willemsen. She's going to hit the line now. This is going to be some race. 20, 21, 08, second for Van der Breggen at this split. 
past the Virginia War Memorial goes uh, Linda Willemsen in battle with Evelyn Stevens, Anna van der Breggen and Kristen Armstrong right now for this gold medal. Is Linda Willemsen going to win a world title? She has been on the podium on five different occasions and she's never managed to bring it home. Here goes the double Olympic champion, Kristen Armstrong, racing her way now to the conclusion of this 29.9 kilometer time trial. The stars and stripes of the United States of America being carried by a formidable athlete, Kristen Armstrong, the double Olympic champion, the double world champion, hits the finish line now in 40 minutes, 50.45, an average speed of 43.297 kilometers an hour. She has absolutely Absolutely zero left in the tank. Here we go then, Linda Willemsen gritted teeth for the first time. The time to beat is 40 minutes, 50.45. In the stealth black of New Zealand, Linda Willemsen is going to absolutely smash this out of sight. Willemsen racing to the finish line now for New Zealand. This is the standard for everyone to beat. Willemsen goes top of the leaderboard. 40 minutes, 29.87. The New Zealander is now in the gold medal position in the hot seats. What a performance by Linda Willemsen. I think she's quite pleased with that ride. That was a textbook performance by Linda Willemsen. Well, if she doesn't win the gold medal today, you can't ask for any more. And now this is where this is going to get interesting. Catherine Garford of Australia heading now towards the conclusion of this ride. Is she going to beat the time of Kristen Armstrong? She is. Catherine Garford is going to go into the silver medal position. 40 minutes, 39.19. This is a fantastic ride by the Australian Catherine Garford. Probably one of the biggest surprises of today, I could say. Anna van der Bregen that we're predicting is going to pull back some serious seconds in the last one or two kilometers. Here she goes now. She's setting herself up for the finish line. Here we go, Anna van der Bregen. What's her time? The time to beat is 40.29.87. Van der Breggen now out the saddle, sprinting. Is she going to do it? 40 minutes, 29.87. Linda Willemsen's time. It's going to be close. It's literally going to be a throw the bike at the line and hope. 40 minutes, 31, 32. She's outside the time of Willemsen. She goes second, 40, 32, 4, 1. Willemsen is still in the hot seat. One more rider left to finish. And here is Lisa Brenauer. This is the only rider who can topple Linda Willemsen now. Well, this is going to be close. 39.56. This could be the world title. Lisa Brenauer has found something. 40 minutes, 29.87 is the time to beat. Brenauer has held something back and gone absolutely flying up this final climb. Lisa Brenauer, is she going to win double world titles? 40 minutes, 29.87. She's at 20. 20 seconds. Linda Willemsen must be chewing her nails right now. Linda Willemsen, is it going to be the world title to the Kiwi? Lisa Brenauer is sprinting away for the finish line. Linda Willemsen is the world champion. Lisa Brenauer is going to try and take the silver medal. 40 35 13. She takes the bronze, but Linda Willemsen finally, after five times of being on the podium, is the world champion of the individual time trial. I just can't believe it. I just really can't believe it. I came in with a big motivation today and it's just had the best team around me and it was just it was just an incredible feeling. Yeah, can you take us through those 29 kilometers today? You you really gave everything you had. How how did you how did you deal with the times that you maybe had from uh, from Kristin Armstrong and, and and the others? I don't really know what exactly times I have out there. I heard I had good splits, but I don't know at that time what's behind me. So I can only think, go as fast as I can, and not think of anything but that. Linda Willemsen! She just uh, pretty much can't believe it now that she's about to get what she's worked so hard for. Three times bronze medalist, twice silver medalist, and finally she pulls on the rainbow bands as the world champion of the individual time trial.
A very, very impressive performance, a textbook ride. There was nothing that Linda Willemsen did wrong today. She was absolutely on her game. The world champion from New Zealand, Linda Willemsen.